All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP. Welcome back. This time we're here with a little more Perizno. And today, I think we're going to have a pretty good episode for you guys. Um, I've been playing a lot in between episodes. Um, I actually, so, <laughs> I came down to uh, record at around midnight. And uh, I've been playing ever since, trying to get ready for this episode. And it is now 4.30 in the morning. So that should give you an idea of uh, how much I've been doing. Uh, really, it's just been a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting back over here. We've actually taken Dace, uh, Dasselok, Gladius Castle. Had Norberg Castle for a while, but the uh, Valiers took it back. Um, but these haven't been taken back in a while. Um, and part of the reason why is that Drahara came forward and tried to siege Myrdenhall again. Um, not quite as many troops this time. About 1,600. Still a lot of them, though. Um... And I uh, had to fight that. That took a <laughs> that took a big chunk of time. Um, but yeah, just in general, we've been fighting around, getting some uh, more troops, uh, stacking some cash. We're up to, what are we up to now? Oh yeah, well over half a million. Uh, so we're looking good. We're looking real good. Uh, we did level up um, once at the end of last episode, and then once again in between episodes. So we are going to go, yeah, agility. We're going to go agility with this. Uh, get some more riding up to seven. We're super close, guys. I think, what, is it 8 or 9 for the Wyverns? It's 9. Okay. I mean, we're still getting there. We're getting there. Uh, where are we going to put this other skill point, though? I'm kind of thinking... Ooh, first aid would be nice. Hmm. It's, tw it's between first aid, like some prisoner management... That would actually be nice, because that increases your chance of uh, capturing enemy lords, which I've started doing. Huh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll go prisoner management. Um, I've started capturing lords. All the, well, not even just dishonorable, but all the ones that aren't honorable. Um, I've started capturing them and holding them here. And uh, we had up to, like, eight or nine at one point. I sell them off whenever they offer us. Uh, we actually had the king... Of Drahara, the Sultan, uh, captive at one point, and they gave us like 20 grand for him. Uh, so that was pretty nice. Um, and I think that's also kind of helping keep the uh, Draharan numbers down. So, you guys might be wondering, what the hell are you doing over here at Amarna? And, uh, well, I'm here at Amarna because I want to take this bitch over. Um, as you can see, it's only it only has 545 troops in the garrison. That was not the case when I got here. It had 1,600 uh, so they restocked since the last time. But what I found that you can do is if you... All right, let's see if we can, can click it here. If you head in... Ah, uh, nope, clicked the wrong person. Uh, Amarna. There we go. If you head in at the right time, different uh, different Zan vassals are actually besieging it. Um, and so if you don't join their battle, nothing ever happens. They don't, you know, they're not actually fighting with Jahara. But if you come in at the right time and join their battle, they will actually fight with you. Uh, so that's what I've been doing to help uh, take them down. All right, so we're going to put some archers right here, put our cavalry right here, and then tell all of the Xan infantry to charge in. Oh, this guy does not have a lot of troops from the looks of it. That's not good. Hmm. That's disappointing. Most of them, most of the times, they actually have a bunch of troops in there. Um... So we can kind of just have our boys sit back while they charge forward. And uh, our archers do a pretty good job of just wrecking them. Um, what, uh, whatever. Well, you know what? Our archers still should be able to do a pretty decent job. We are starting to run out of them. Uh, we've got about 40, 45 Kaiser Lich Shorefshoots left. Um, that's just because there's not really that many. They're kind of hard to find. Um, the only reason we had up to like 60 of them is because we've been collecting them for a long time and not really using them in battle. But they're really useful. Those guys are amazing. Um, they're cheap compared to like our other kind of elite cavalry. And for sieges, they're almost invaluable. They do so much damage. Um, shit. So that was all their <laughs> that was all the Zan infantry that they got. Yeah. So there's the different the different uh, you know Zan parties here, and they each come in by themselves. They don't they don't join with each other. Um, so it's kind of you know roll the dice to see who you got. Some of them will have a couple hundred troops. And will actually outnumber us on here. And other ones, like this guy, will have next to nothing. Whatever. We still should be able to do some pretty good damage, though. Um, I'm debating whether or not we should charge our our cavalry in. I mean, there's not really a huge need for it, I suppose, right? Um, we can just sit back, weaken them up from here. There's They still have 550 troops, or at least at the beginning of this battle. 
Um, so we would definitely take some fairly substantial casualties if we were to uh, try to beat that with our uh, cavalry. But as of right now, we're just, look, our boys just surround them and just fire and fire and fire. Like, we've already killed oh, 54 of them. That's actually not that many. Thought we would have killed more of them by now. We might, hmm, hmm, I'm trying to think. We might retreat and then come back and hopefully we'll spawn in with a spearhead that has more troops, more infantry. Because that makes it a lot easier on our archers because these guys are out here swinging, exposing themselves, and then our archers can just light them up. How many they got in total? 115? Hmm. <laughs> Is this where we want to make our stand? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves up. Can we get out of here, actually? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, tell you what. We're going to quick retreat and hopefully come in with a spearhead that has some more troops. Um, some more infantry to kind of soften them up. And then from there, we'll send in our cavalry, who should be able to finish uh, the siege out. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan to me. But yeah, so we're not, we're not taking any casualties. Occasionally, we might lose an archer or two, but that's about it. So let's see, they're down to 460. And most of their elite units have already been taken out. Oh, what is going on? Oh, the dwarves are fighting them now. That's the other thing. Uh, the Kaykoth Feder Confederation, is that what they're called? Yeah, Kaykoth Confederation. They just declared war on uh, Drahara. So that's very good news for us. Um, because not only are they going to be putting pressure on there, the Draharans are not going to be able to fight a two-front war, at least not very effectively. They're going to have to split up their troops. And so I think that's another reason why they haven't been over here pestering us as much. The giants in uh, the Val here are still being dicks, but um, at least Drahara's massive 3,000 man uh, armies are not coming our way too often anymore. Alright, fuck, let's, uh, let's join in. I don't think we're going to actually end up getting Amarna out of this. Yeah, I don't think so. This is actually the Dwarven, um, right? This is the Dwarven, I believe? Dergamist? That has to be that sounds like a dwarven title to me. Infantry, go ahead and charge in. Oh yeah, see now now this time we are the by far the minority and we've got all these troops. So this is <laughs> this is perfect for us. So those guys are gonna rush in. Honestly, they're gonna take a lot of casualties. Um because the Draharans, surprisingly, are not terrible at sieges. Um they've got some really good units. It's not too surprising that uh they've been able to take over so much of the map. Um, kind of snowballing to a certain extent as well. Once they took enough towns, they started getting a whole bunch of vassals coming towards them, and then they were just able to take more and more with that. But look at this. This is a slaughter. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I'm talking about we'll even drop some healing, because we can even heal those guys as well. It's perfect. Alright, looks good. Tell you what, we might actually charge in. Fuck it, might as well. Yeah, the enemies are going down real fast. I'm trying to think, where do they spawn in? They still they spawn inside, but there's a quick little ladder that they or stairway that they come up to get in here. Let's see if we can scare off some of the enemies so we can get some more dudes in here. Looks like that's working. Yeah, I think they come up through here, if I remember right. Yep, here comes the new wave. Damn it, I thought I could just, like, sit right here and try to, like, <laughs> essentially clothesline them, except instead of with a with a rope or something, we'd be, or with our hand and arm, we're, we're clotheslining them with our assassin sword, but they have their shields up now, so that's not working. Um, do we charge in? Yeah, tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and charge in our cavalry. Um, there's not too many infantry left, and I don't want to lose the wall. I want our boys to be able to get in here. Hey, well, we're gonna have to actually... We're going to have to block this just so we can make sure our cavalry gets up on the walls. Oh, yeah, look at these guys. They got, like, some farmers coming in now. We good here? Did our boys get in? Yeah, okay. There we go. That should be... Oh, shit. Are we stuck here now? Fearsome cry. Get out of my way. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, we're almost through. Come on. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, baby. I don't know, we might be stuck here, to be honest. Let's see what's going on. 
All right, well, I'm a, I'll be back once we've kind of gotten out of this stalemate because there's not really a whole lot we can do right now. Okay, there we go. That stalemate essentially lasted the entire seat. We finally broke through. I don't think there's... What is it? Looks like only one guy left? Where's he at? He up here? Yeah, just one guy left. There we go. Holy shit, yeah. That was awesome. Did we even lose any... We didn't lose a single person. Like, personally. Our allies lost a little bit, but, I mean, we only had, what? We only had nine of our own troops in here, so I guess that's not too surprising. But, boom. 450 of them gone, just like that. And Amarna is now the uh, dwarves. I am perfectly okay with that. That is fine by me. Um, so, what that means now is... Get out of here, Zan. What that means now is that we should be able to complete the uh, Red Immortal quest. Uh, problem is, we have way too many troops with us right now. We won't be able to capture those dudes. Um, uh, I think we can talk to... And tell you what, just to play it safe, we're going to go back, drop off some troops, just come back with... Tell you what, we can actually come back with some Drakenmeisters. Because we've been getting a few of those. Um, yeah, we'll come back with some Drakenmeisters, just to be safe and make sure that if the uh, party does spawn in. Because I'm not sure at w exactly what point in the quest chain that they spawn in. Um, that we'll be ready to uh, capture them. Alright, Dacelot Castle goes to Baron Hendrix, good for him. So, if you remember, last episode we bought, or we built, a hundred uh, plots of land in... Oh, hello. Who's this? Anybody important? Sahib Munir. Hmm. Do I feel like being nice to you today? Nah. No. I really, <laughs> I really don't. We meet again, Torvik. Well, surrender or die. You know, if, we, if we've met before, then you know how this goes. And it doesn't end well for you. Alright, well, uh, tell you what. The doctor's over there. Yeah, they should be in range to hit our, their troops. It's a little dark outside. Didn't realize it was nighttime when we were headed in. Okay, a lot of cavalry. We'll try to distract all these dudes so our cavalry can get a nice, good charge in. And then we'll circle around, get back to the front. I like this, I think I like this tactic the best, because what it does is it really takes a lot of the enemy cavalry out of the fight, out of that initial charge. I like, turns them around, because they're, they're focused on us, and then our boys come in, get a great initial charge. Plus, it's less of a stalemate, because troops are, because even their guys are kind of all over the place. Um, and that speeds up the battle, I feel. I don't know. That's just what I've been noticing, I think. I could be completely wrong. Uh, we'll drop some healing for our troops here. Judging from the amount of uh, green on the side, though, we're doing a pretty good job so far. Not that these guys were all that intimidating. Um, but still, we're doing a good, doing a good job. Alright. So, you guys have been giving this a crazy amount of love. Honestly, I thought that with, uh, with Prophecy of Pendor starting, that you, this series might fall down a little bit. That you guys wouldn't be excited. But if anything, you guys are... I mean, I'm not going to say this to the Prophecy of Pendor fanboys, but I think you guys like this one more. You like Prisno more than Prophecy of Pendor right now, which is shocking. If you had told me that before I started Prophecy of Pendor, I'd have, I'd have been like, hell no. No way. But this series has continued to get better and better. I was worried that I was going to fall off. No, not at all. It's continued to get more and more exciting. Um, yeah, Prisno has become really one of the best mods out there. What, uh... What Leonine has done has been pretty impressive. I wish I knew uh, how many devs there were. Because I, I, I know him. He, he tends to watch these videos and uh, leave some good tips and uh, helpful pointers for us. Um, but I think, I, I can't imagine he's the only guy working on here. If he is, that's insane. <laughs> Give that man a fucking raise. Because he deserves it. Alright, there we go. Ah, he managed to escape. That's fine. Uh, let's see if we can't get... What do we, hmm, what do we even want out of these guys? Really not a whole lot. We don't need anything. We just want the prisoners. Um, and... Yeah, do they have anything? Nah, we don't need any of these guys. We're still... I mean, we've got so much... Holy shit! Lordly Freelancer Dismounted Knight's Armor. 150,000! 
What? Oh, that's insane. All right, who wants it? Somebody got it. Or even replaced it with this, which is 31,000. Not too shabby. 150. I don't think I've ever looted something that cost that much in any game. Or, well, not any game. In any mod. That's that's pretty fucking impressive. Oh, God damn it. The values are besieging us now. Come on, baby. I'm trying to go to sleep at some point. Whoa, holy shit. Amir Dimitrios. 500 troops? He must have picked off somebody with a huge, huge prisoner uh, garrison. Prisoner pool. Well, we're not going to worry about you right now. Let's go over to Mernhal. What do we got here? What? What, two dudes? That's it? Do they seriously have two dudes trying to take us out? Well, I guess King Ingveld is coming. Um. Well, are you guys going to try to fight me here, or are you just going to let me come in? No? You going to try to fight me? Oh, you think you have the advantage of me. Now, see, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> that is where you are mistaken. All right, let's see if we can get to the top of this hill quick and put our archers up here, because this would be the perfect vantage point to just rain down hell upon the enemy. Oh, they're spreading out for us, too. I love it when they do that. Spread them wide open, boys. <laughs> oh, spread them wide open for us. Oh, shit, our horse is about to die. Come on. Come on. Don't die on me quite yet. At least let me get back to these troops. There we go. There we go. That's... I like that green on the side. Would have been nice if we could have get inside and picked up a few of the Drakenmeisters. We've got about 20 in here right now that we looted this episode. Um, and then plus the like 50 some that we have in our Cloud Castle. We're not going to do it this episode, but probably in the next one or two episodes we're going to... Um, we're going to try experimenting around with an entire army of Drakenmeisters. Like 70, 80 of them. Which would be absolutely insane, and I don't know what to expect with that. Um, hopefully that, hopefully it works out. Hopefully we don't just do that and end up like losing like 20, 30 of them. That'd be kind of, that'd be kind of disappointing. But I think it should be kind of OP as long as we don't get you know taken on by like a couple thousand enemies. So basically they just get outnumbered. There's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Unleash our fearsome war cry. I wish they had like a like a sound for that. So we can hear what that sounds like. I'm not gonna try to emulate what that would be like. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that at, at five in the morning <laughs> in my basement. Waking everybody up in the house. There we go. Last one. Yeah, this is going real good. How many shoot, I don't even think there's that many enemies left to be honest. Oh, can we ride this now? Ah, oh, we can. How nice it is to actually have a decent amount of riding skill for once. But yeah, we've been, uh... Tell you what, we have a crazy amount of a relationship with some of the lords now. Just because whenever we free, you know, uh, one of the one of our vassals that have been captured by, you know, whether it's Drahara, Val here, whatever. We get a ton of relationship and honor with everybody. Um, on top of that, Herzog Oscar, I've been doing a bunch of uh, missions for him where we take out those snow caves around Volderberg. Um, he has, like, we have, like, 60-some relation, uh, with him right now. Maybe even 70. So, he's a huge fan, and that's gonna be great, because when we do start our own kingdom, I can't imagine he's gonna turn us down. Because we're probably not too far away from starting our own kingdom. Um, when we do that, we're gonna be leaving with not only Murdenhall, Arklau Castle... And, I don't know, another town or two away from the uh, Reich. So the Reich is going to be left with almost nothing. They're going to be weak as shit. And then we're going to be there. We're his best friend, essentially. Um, we're probably going to marry one of his daughters. I don't know if I showed you that last episode, but we're... Torvik's kind of being a... <laughs> kind of being a pimp right now, because he's talking to both of Herzog Oscar's uh, daughters right now. Um... Alright, we lost a few guys. Not too shabby, though, to take out all of them. Uh, okay, this guy's pretty honorable. We'll let him go. I've gotten in the habit of, like, actually checking them. Oops, see? This is what I'm talking about! Boom! Get a bunch of relationship with everybody. Even, uh... Well, I guess this guy is in the... Oh, yeah, Herzog Oscar. 67 relationship. Fuck, man. 
That was sweet. All right. Go ahead and loot these guys. Wow, there's a lot of... Holy shit. There's a lot of dudes left to loot. Um... Oh, no, that's not helping. Okay. I was trying to see if we could get, get some extra uh, prisoner space, but oh well. We'll just have to leave those. Uh, we'll loot these. Um... Nah, whatever. Good enough. We've got tons of money. We're about to make a bunch off all these prisoners. Uh, Garrison. Who are we dropping off? I'm going to worry about that in a sec. Tavern. Hey, it's a fellow dwarf. How are you doing, buddy? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that's a dwarven accent that I go to. <laughs> uh, oh, baby. 31 grand. You're hooking us up. Thank you. Um, what do we got? Whoops. Do they have any extra ones now? Okay, so we got, we still got five lords here. Five or three of them? Four of them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, four of these guys are uh, Draharan, so that's definitely helping us out. Um, we are going to take these 18 Drachenmeisters and drop off. Yeah, 38 Kaiser Liches remaining. We're going to have to train some up at some point. We did get those, uh, I ordered 200 Lintoran Hunters. Um, so we're going to try to train them up eventually. Probably going to move them over to Arclaw Castle where we have the trainer working full time. I'll right, we'll drop all these guys off. Still got a decent amount of cavalry. Picked up some of these guys at the uh, mercenary place. Knights of the Lost Hope. They look fucking sweet. They're pretty good in battle, too. Alright, we're down to 28 with 18 Drachenmeisters. Sounds fun. Sounds good to me. But yeah, so look at this. Check this out. Le Leonian, if you're watching this still. So we bought 100 acres of land here. We lose money every every time this uh, this checks for some reason now. We're losing, like, in a significant amount, like, four grand. So, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I wonder if it has something to do with uh, how tiny Mernhall is. Mern Mernhall only has 1,700 people. It's a wretched, desolate place. Um, compared to other towns, like uh, Tolranian's Tal last town right now, um, that one has 10,000 people, and we make a bunch of money off that one, and we only have 50 land there. So, I don't know. I'm not going to sell that land off quite yet. I'm going to wait for Mernhall to come around. Maybe once Mernhall becomes a profitable city again, um, that'll start making us some money. If not, whatever. We can always, you know, sell the land off. And that should be fine. What's that about to do here? Uh, manage the town? Why can't I manage the town? Hmm. Am I blind? I think we, are we, huh, I'm not seeing the manage the, what the hell, where's the manage the town option? I guess I can talk to the Chamberlain, I think, and, or, yeah, the Chamberlain, and he can help us manage. Uh, do, do, do. want to build an improvement in Merton Hall. It's not letting us build anything. That's strange. Are you only allowed to build a certain amount of improvements? I don't think so. What? Okay, I don't know what's going on with that right now. That's a little strange. That's very strange, actually. I was just able to build something. We built uh, the Merchant's Hall and um, a prisoner gear, or a prisoner tower just to make sure these guys weren't escaping. Huh, that's very weird. Tell you what, we're going to go over to Arcloud Castle, though, and uh, try to pick up a few more Drakenmeisters. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, see, we can manage this castle. Hmm. Ah. Uh, Wow, I don't know what was going on there. Ooh, hello. I will take all of you. Oh shit, we can't even carry that many right now. Eh, we'll worry about we'll worry about them later then. Okay, I guess. Okay, uh, where are our Drakenmeisters at? Drakenritters, here we go. 57 Drakenmeisters. So in total, 75. Oh, we're ready for an entire episode. Of just Drakenmeister Carnage. But for right now, 35 of them should be enough. And we should still be moving quick enough that we can uh, catch up to these guys if needed. Alright. Get me out of here. Let's do this. Back down to Amarna. 
I'm trying to get, I'm getting this, uh, this, uh, Aegis shield today, guys. I don't care what it takes. I'd be real upset if the, if the, um, um, quest ends up glitching out or just not working like it has in the past. Okay, so look, we're, we're almost, uh, breaking even here. And that's with still a whole bunch of stuff under sequestration. Um, with all the land we've got in different cities, we're probably actually making money for once. Not to mention all that shit we're making off of just battling and destroying uh, Drahara 24-7. So yeah, things are looking good. I can see Torvik reaching his first million very soon. Very soon. When he reaches his first million, that'll that'll be when we know that we're ready for uh, to start our own kingdom. And then get to that 10 million goal. Alright. Let me get in here. So we need to talk to some scribe, right? I thought. Travel to Marna, talk to the scholar here. Yeah, scholar, not scribe. Wow, that's a big ass castle there. Damn. I mean, it's nice here. Just trying to find this man. Oh, he's probably up here. Shit, is this? Is this, uh, in native version? Like a, a castle this big? I don't, I'm not remembering it if it is. I'm also not seeing a scholar. Is he in the... Oh, there he is. Jesus, man. Hiding around in here. You're the only person in sight. Erudite scholar. Alright, sorry for bothering you. Uh, the scholar of Galway told me to find you. I have a question to ask. Now, what exactly do you need? I'm seeking information about the legend of the Red Immortals. More specifically, where they are rumored to be located. He said that you are the greatest expert on the subject in all of Perizno. Uh, well, I'm afraid I can only relay you once more to another source. I have closely studied the text of the scholar Mercon for many years, uh, but I have done so from a purely factual and historical perspective. What you want is more obscure and absolute. The myth seeker will know the answer to your question, I have no doubt in my mind. Okay, where am I supposed to find this dude? Uh, he was near the Sasbaga Castle. Perhaps you should search around there. The Sasbaga Castle. Okay. Is that... Don't tell Am I going to have to take out another fucking castle? Saspiga. Oh my god. I have to take out another freaking castle? Oh, hello. Jesus Christ. Look at all these guys. They're definitely coming back to take Amarna. Um, not, uh, okay, never mind. I'm seeing these... I was, I was about to say, well, there's not that many of them. There's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot of them. Yeah, look. Look at this. A Mar er, Mernhall is losing us money. It has a negative balance. What the fuck? I don't understand. Galway, though, really nice. Oh, can we sneak in? Please tell me I can sneak in. Uh, 4,000, sure. See, like, around here? Please tell me I don't have to go into the actual castle itself. Uh, all right. I'm going to double check and make sure that I'm going to have to actually do this, but I'll be back with some troops in a sec if that's the case. Okay, we have returned, and I believe I, I put away the Drakenmeisters and took out kind of, uh, I don't know, just our normal elite cavalry, left the Kaiser Lich Dragoners just in case we end up losing some people here in the siege, which I think we're going to since we don't have as many troops as we normally do, and we don't have the archers to back us up. Um, but I believe we should still be fast enough to catch these red immortals, um, just because we have entirely elite cavalry. Sweet, it's a ladder castle, and with Agnar now, it only takes two hours. He's a fucking godsend. <laughs> we just show up and can siege castles right away, it's amazing. Alright, let's do it. And, uh, I gotta, kinda have to just charge right in, I guess. Let's go, boys. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one, I can tell. Look at that mini-map. Their troops are just all over the place. Okay. I'll well, see how this goes. This, we might have... Hmm. Might have picked off more than we can uh, chew here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's, I mean, we, they do outnumber us four to one, just about. So we'll see. Okay, that is a lot of... Oh, Agnar's coming in. Oh, Agnar. Poor Agnar. Probably not the best place for you here. 
Oh, fuck, these assassins are nasty. Alright, well, let's hold the line with our troops at least. Try to do what we can. Well, I guess we don't want to jump out of the castle now, do we? I will heal early and often. Try to get the... Wow, we're taking a lot of damage. We, I think we gotta kind of have to back off here. Not a whole lot we're gonna be doing. So what I can do, though, is stop these archers from just having free fire down on our troops. Okay, I think we should still be... I'm gonna hit this dude. Okay, there we go. Gosh, who the fuck is still hitting me? God damn. Okay, but are you actually not. Hey, our troops are doing fine actually taking these guys out. We, we have to shield up, though, because we need to stay up for this battle and keep dropping healing for everybody. Um, because that's gonna be the only thing that's gonna pull, our, pull us through. Otherwise, our troops are gonna get worn down eventually and get taken out. Okay. They are kind of swarming us here, but if you look at the kill feed, it's definitely in our favor still. Can we drop some more healing yet? Uh, come on. If anything, I just want to heal us up. Okay, well, there's our troops at least. Holy shit, look how bloody red everybody is already. God damn. Okay, alright, we're pushing them back. Any more people up there? Oh, there it is. Get out of here. Get out of here. God damn that dude's tough. She Jin leveled up? Awesome. Nice. Okay. Alright, can I do this and get the enemies to run away a little bit? Nah, I'm too far away. In order to get that to work in sieges, you kinda there there can't there can't be too many enemies packed in there. And you have to be right on the edge, so the ones behind them also run away. There we go. Some help for us. Can we help our troops as well? No, not quite yet. But yeah, you need to be close enough so that even the enemies behind them run away. Um, and so everybody... Oh, we should actually... Yeah, we got a good amount of health. I was going to say, we should not probably be here, but... We have a good amount of health, so we can be actually on the front of the fighting now and get some action in. At least a little while until uh, we get hurt again. Hornick actually has an insane amount of hit points right now. Um, well, I guess not insane. But he has 91, I believe? 91? Normally, the highest we ever go is 85, because, you know, you get 30 strength and uh, your 10 Iron Flesh, but because of uh, the new cap and the fact that he keeps on getting random skill points... Um, oh, shit, I need that shield. Fuck. Oh, I'm not telling I'm gonna die here. I mean, our troops will do fine. It's just... I don't like getting taken out myself. I'm looking for a shield on the ground here, and I'm not seeing anything. Right, well, we're... I'm just gonna block up and hope for the best. Shield. There we go. Ooh, baby, we are right on the edge. We're cutting this way too close. But yeah, so 91 health, and that's only gonna go up. As our strength continues to increase and we can put some more into Iron Flesh and uh, Power Strike, that'd be good. Uh, I'd like to go after those archers, but once again, we have like no health. Uh, yeah, no, not with those troops coming now. And our boys are going to come forward anyways. Come on. The uh, healing yourself takes way longer to refresh than healing your troops. Way, way longer. Which, I mean, okay, that's fair. It should take a little longer for you to damage all your, uh, all your bloody wounds and whatnot than it does to just, you know, hype up your troops with a quick battle cry. Not that that makes any sense as to why that, uh, <laughs> heals your troops up almost completely. But, you know, hey, we're rolling with it. We're rolling with it. Yeah, it's actually going really well. What have we killed so far? Oh, we need another shield. I will take this green decorated shield. Oh, I guess we did bring our Kaiserlich drag Dragoners. Never mind. I don't know why I thought I had left them. Let's see, about 300 of them dead already, so this is probably just about the last wave. They might get one tiny reinforcement wave after this, and then we should be done. We'll be inside. We captured an entire castle, killed over 400 men. Just to talk to one myth seeker. This guy better be 
better feel pretty goddamn important. He's the reason all these men died. Oh, they're gonna get taken out eventually, I suppose, but... Definitely rush that. That looks like we just got some scrubs left. Tell you what, I'm just gonna hop up here. Get off me. Tell you what I wanna find. I wanna find a freaking masterwork version of this assassin sword, because we're going to work with it right now. Why are we... Why are we, like, so slow walking up this ladder? That is very strange. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> this ladder is, is really weird. I'm trying to climb up it, and then if I, if I like, stop climbing up it, we just, like, free fall down. What the hell? Ooh, ouch. We're taking some big hits here. These archers ain't playing around. What are these guys? Oh, the storm archers. Oh, I suppose. That makes sense. They were around in the beginning of the siege, so... They're still the elite troops. Come on. Let me get up here. I I'm moving full speed, and we're just barely, barely making it up. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, look at this guy's body. Got stuck in between the stairs. That looks painful. Oh, and okay, we're off. Whatever. I didn't want to go up there anyways, game. Doesn't bother me at all. Okay, a few archers left. And that'll be it. Feels good to finally push out, though. Holy shit, I've played... And because, I mean, I don't know if you guys know, but I've been playing a ton in between episodes. Like, hours and hours and hours of this. Um, just grinding and whatnot. Because it's basically been a whole lot of the same stuff. Just us somehow managing to keep Reich in this game. Uh, keep the Reich alive by single-handedly f uh, fending off the Draharans, the Giants, and the Valahir clan. Um, but it feels good to be able to push out and actually do some damage against Rahara now. Um, and actually hold our own castles. It'll feel even better once we take out the Zan completely. And can, uh... I'll tell you what, boys, get... Can't tell them to just go away. Alright, yeah, okay, never mind. Just, just go. Come on. We'll tell our archers to... Oh, wait, we don't have any archers. JK. Oh, the Prisno Ranger Knight, though. I forgot we had him. He's actually killing, like, all the remaining enemies. Oh, perfect. Come on. There's two of them left, buddy. Oh, wait. We have our freaking crossbow. I don't know why I thought we shot every... I normally blow through my bolts really quick. I've noticed that uh, as our proficiency goes up, we reload faster and, like, shoot and aim faster. So, during those sieges, we actually, like, use basically all 45... Uh, right before it gets refreshed, just because we're that much faster now, and we're killing that many more. Speaking of which, in that in that siege against 1,500 troops, we killed over 400 of the enemies. Um, nearly 500, I want to say, actually. So, that just goes to show you, we... And so, in that siege of 2,400, we must have gotten, I don't know, at least six or 700 of them ourselves. Oh, sweet little Wyvern Dragoner. Hacken Valyrian Knight. Okay. Not sure who all these dudes are, but we'll take them. They look good. Ooh, Kaykoth Ironfish. Iron Fist. He looks sweet. Wow, there's a lot of freaking dudes in here. Um, what do we even want? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold a Hold up. Wait a goddamn second. Do we... No, we actually don't want these guys. Yeah, no man. Do we want... Do we want these guys either? Will this, will this slow us down? Hold up, I gotta check our movement speed right now. 7.5. Okay, we're gonna have to... Where's the garrison? I can't even see right now. Can we... It has no garrison. Come on. Let me... They're not gonna let us? Damn it! Alright, well, we're gonna... Oh, f are you kidding me? They took a Marna back over. God damn it. We try. I, pr I promise you guys. We try sometimes. It just doesn't work out. Um, Tyler, we can just sneak into Arish. Alright, I'll fight my way out if need be. Mm-hmm. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Oh, getting a little damage there. You got a little hit in. Too bad I'm the dwarven tank at this point. Even in this armor, I can tank you guys. Kinda. There we go. 
Nice and easy. What was our other weapon? Uh, that might have been better to use a shield with it. Okay, tavern. Let's saw off these troops. Do, do, do. Hey, it's our dwarven buddy again. We're making each other rich out here. You profit, I profit. They get sold into slavery. It's all good. It's all good. All right, yeah, let's just sell this off. Because we didn't do that earlier. Uh-huh, very nice. Anything good here? No? Okay. All right, well, we'll get out of there. Okay, so now what are we up to? 8.3. Okay, yeah, we're fast enough. I believe it's, I believe that they travel at around 7. So if we're at 8.3, we should be able to catch them. Go to the Lord's Hall, the Myth Seeker. Sir, sir, do you have any idea of what I had to do to come find you? I seek them. The myths. Okay, good start. The scholar of Amarna told me to find you. I have a question to ask. What is it? Leave me be. I seek the myths, the truth. Do not talk of foolish scholars to me. I have a question about the Red Immortals. The Red Immortals? What business do you have with them? Dangerous business. I seek their legendary weapons and shield. I will kill them. You want to find them and kill them? You are nothing but a fool. You cannot defeat the mortals. <laughs> that is your opinion. Please tell me where they are. I will tell you. You're going to die anyway. Go to the village of Warren. Uh, Waran. That is all I shall tell. Now leave me be. Okay. Please tell me. Oh, it's late afternoon too. Okay, we gotta keep our eyes out for every little party here though. Every little party. Okay, Waran. Okay. Do we go inside, though? Okay, we're here. Alright, I'm not seeing anything around us right now, so let's go inside. Village Elder, maybe? Hmm. Not seeing them right now. We're not to the right place, right? Waran. Oh, come on. Don't tell me they got away from us again. You're kidding me. Maybe we should wait till the day so we have a bigger viewing range? I mean, our spotting is... What is our spotting right now? It's seven. It's pretty decent. It's pretty high up there. Oh, there we go. Red Immortals Patrol. Ah, we found them. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We are faster than them. They're at 6.8. Oh, baby. Here we go. Surrender or die. Oh, look at that armor. We are the Red Immortals from the old Hacken Empire. I would think twice before attacking. <laughs> no thanks. You will die here. Now. Oh, man. Let's go. 106 against 10. They don't stand a chance. Can we use blunt weapons, perhaps? Do we have blunt weapons? Is the question. Does anybody have blunt weapons? Literally no one has blunt weapons. Okay, just... Just use your weapons. <laughs> just use whatever. There we go. I was thinking we were going to try to uh, capture them, but nah, we're just going to kill them. We're just going to kill them. How tough are these dudes? I wonder. We're going to be fighting a bunch of them in a sec here. Um, after these guys. 73 damage. Okay. 56. They're, I mean, they got some good armor. I want to kill one of them myself, though. Oh, well. Probably not going to get any of this fight. There's just not enough of them. How many are left? Can't even see him. There we go. Alright, well, we did it. One of them? Okay, we got. We at least got one of them. So we can try to recruit him, I suppose. Alright, no loot for that. Um, but now... You have defeated the Red Immortal Party. You managed to capture one of the mortals and interrogate him. Uh, he tells you that their leader, called Mac Mactabilis, 
is nearby and that he will avenge them. Then the Red Immortal kills himself with a hidden dagger before you and your men can react. Oh, hey, we just made peace with the suit giants. Thank God. And here's Mactabilis, who's actually running from us. That's hilarious. What do you want? Surrender or die? That's what I want. 53 Red Immortals. This should be fun. All right, boys. Uh, we're going to chill out right here for a second, get a nice good charge in on them. And we're not going to, we're definitely not going to want to fight them uphill. Because they are going to, that would be a huge advantage for them. They are charging in. Alright. I'm definitely expecting us to lose a few people here. Let's see if we can scout them out real quick. Before, I think they're just coming over this hill. Yep, oh, there they go. They're moving alright. Hmm, okay. Alright, wait for it. Wait for it. Do they not have shields? Oh, man. I almost wish, wish we had our Kaiser Lich uh, short shoots is still. They'd be going to town on these dudes. Alright, let's go. Let's get a nice charge in here. Oh, we are doing, like, no damage to these dudes. They are tough. 90 damage didn't even kill one. God damn. What are these dudes made out of? Okay, we killed one. 735 experience. I thought they'd almost be worth more. Is that, like, what a Drakenmeister is worth just, worth just about? Yeah, we'll drop some healing for our troops right now. They're going down. Oh, yeah, they're going down fast, though. We just, we outnumber them way too much, and we actually have cavalry. The combination of which they are not able to deal with. I think they're basically f on par with, like, Drakenmeisters. Um, you know, if they were, if this was a straight up, you know, battle, and they actually had mounts. But, uh, cavalry is just too big of an advantage against them. Boom, okay, nice. Down he goes. Uh, you are my prisoner. You'll not live long enough to enjoy your victory. My kinsmen will soon wipe out the stain of this defeat. Yeah, I don't know about that, mate. Don't know about that. We'll take 11 more of you, uh, prisoner, though. Uh, oh my god, this stuff is worth a lot. It's worth a lot. Uh, anybody want some of that? It's the only chance you're ever gonna get to get some of this stuff. And then just some pilas. Not gonna worry about that. Okay, do we get the Aegis shield now? Yeah. You have defeated the Red Immortals. You managed to loot the shield of their leader. Report back to the man at Grund. Um, I'd rather not go back to Grund. Like, for a while, if that's possible. Um, do we actually, do we really need to do that? Why do we need to talk to him? I don't know, but we got the shield, though. Aegis. Haha. <laughs> Look at that. 1,200 durability. 50 resistance. 94 speed, yes, please, and thank you. Oh, man, that's going to be nice. That's going to be real nice. You're never going to break that. This shield lasts forever, and this thing has almost double the durability and 18 more resistance. Oh, man, we are going to be golden. All right, well, I think I think we might be able to uh, just end it off there. Ooh, Amara does not have a whole lot here. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to leave that for right now. Then we're going to go ahead and end this episode off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I wanted to record an episode of Prophecy of Pandora uh, as well today. So that we'd have two episodes on Saturday. But given that it's like 5.30 right now, that's not going to be the case. Um, I might do that for Sunday though. So we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, so next episode, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is just take all of our Drakenmeisters out. And see what kind of uh, carnage we can wreck uh, with an entire army of dragon riding knights. So, as always guys, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy guys.